the Power BI team has released a new Power BI update. This time is for March 2024, and we're going to go through everything that is new. Let's get started. Visual calculations are now available on Power BI Desktop. Just right click on the visual and select new calculation, and you can also edit them in the same place that you could on Power BI Desktop. On object interaction updates, they start saying, why not both? Well, what they mean is that they are bringing back the old pane and they are keeping the new one. So they are not able to decide which pane we should have and say, why not both? Well, I'm going to say, why not both? It is a pain while making documentation or tutorials. What do you pick? You pick the old one or the new one? You never know. So I wish they will pick one and go for it. You can't go wrong with that. Gauge visual is now supported on the new pane. So you will be able to click on the items and select everything that you need to make changes quickly. The pane switcher has been renamed. It's now called pane manager in case you don't find it. Now you can auto create mobile reports. We should give that a go, shouldn't we? Super video though. Azure Maps now supports shapefiles. I am guessing that this is going to kill the old shapefile visual, maybe. Uh, I was actually going to uh, try to do a shapefile the other day, so this is quite good news. I'll give it a go. If it works, I'll show you. You can now select what your data bars in a matrix are shown. So you can pick values only. You can put, pick values in total or total only. Nice. You can now select or choose if your data labels are aligned to the left, to the right, or in the center. Nice addition. Thank you. Copilot has been integrated into the DAX query. If you have premium, you need to have the fabric license. You know, the Power BI premium license disappeared. You need to have the fabric license. Well, so if you have it, you can now give it a go on the DAX query editor. The editor that they created for the role level security settings is now here to stay and is enabled by default. In case I have disabled it, it will show by default now. For calculation groups, you can now decide what happens if a user does a selection for a calculation group or does not do any selections. So you decide what happens. If you're not using calculated groups, don't worry if you're using calculation groups make sure you take this out there are new info dax queries available there are actually three of them storage table columns storage table column segments and storage tables for the modeling experience and the service there are now out the tech relationships you can sort by a column i didn't know that that wasn't there and uh, the row level security pane has got intelligence on it. Okay. If you are using the explore data set uh, feature or a semantic model feature, now there are a few updates. So you can undo, redo, you can clear all, and you can do the, the, the filtering part has got new styling. So you will see you change that too. Subscriptions allow now to have the, the document that is generated, whether it's a PDF or, or Word or whatever you generate, to be able to be saved on OneDrive for SharePoint. Okay, so this opens up a few possibilities that probably are not intended. We'll explore that in a separate video too. So paginated reports have gotten the Power Query experience which if you are using paginated reports is going to be a lovely, lovely addition for you, for sure. I hoping now that soon they will add the Power Query experience to the modeling experience in Power BI service. Hello? <laughs> Maybe soon. Okay, so this is all for this month. Let me know which one is your favorite feature and I will see you in the next video.